OK, we're back and we're going to look at setting up the curl and spread functions for both the toes and the hands. So uh, we're going to, first of all, we're going to select each of these controllers because we need to make uh, spread and curl attributes that we can access whilst on these controls. So I'm going to go to modify, add attribute. First attribute that I want to add is going to be spread. And I'm going to click add. The second one that I want is going to be curl. And click add. And you'll see that we've got the spread and the curl added here, which is exactly what we want. Now, there are a number of different ways to set these up, but I'm going to go through and use the expression editor to do this. So I'm going to go to Window, Animation Editors, Expression Editor. And that will bring up this window. And I'm going to go to uh, Filter by Expression Name, just because I find that far easier to select the objects in the viewport here and type in the values that I need. So this is going to be creating our basic script for creating the curl and spread functions for our hands. So what we're going to do, hit backslash twice, and that will tell the expression editor that we don't actually want to read this line. This is just for our use. So we're going to be typing in hand control. So this is just for our reference to know that what we're working on at the moment is hand controls. So we're going to give a couple of extra lines there. And we're going to go, OK, we want to start controlling these joints. So what I'm going to do is just select one of these joints and see that I've got left ring 01. So OK, I want left ring 01 dot rotate z, because that's the axis here that we know we want to uh, use for our curl. So I'm just going to undo that. And then we know that we want all of those, so I'm going to just copy this and change these to ring 2, ring 3. And so that's all the joints that we have controlling these pieces of geometry. And so each of those is going to equal the, so we've got left hand CTRL, which is this control here. And we want it to equal the curl value. So we'll put dot curl. And we'll put our little semicolon there. And we're just going to control C of these and paste it at the end of the line. OK, and we're going to go ahead and click Create. And we have an error that's come up, which means that we've forgotten something somewhere. And as you notice, uh, when, I've, when I copied and pasted, I actually forgot to copy and paste the equal sign. So I'm just going to go in and add those at the moment. So any time that this isn't working, you'll get an error down the bottom. And then you just need to go through and look at where things have gone wrong. So I'm going to click Edit again. And this time, you'll see Result 1, Expression 1, which is great. It means that it's worked. So I'm going to, uh, with this selected, I can go to my Curl attribute and actually test that out. And you'll see that we're getting some nice movement here. We're getting the, the nice curl motion that we're looking for. OK, great. So. That's what we want to do for the rest of the fingers. And now, the reason why I think this is faster than working in the connection editor is that we can simply copy all these go down for our next finger. And then we want this to be affecting the mid. I'm just going to copy that and then replace all of those there and click Edit. And you'll notice now that when we go back, We've got both the fingers doing that movement, which is great. And it means that all we have to do is Control C, Control V, and just change all of these to index. So I'm just going to copy that over and paste it over each of these. OK, great. And now, when we test that out, Sorry, need to hit Edit first. And you'll notice that all of our claws 
are now doing what we want, which is great. And to make this even more efficient, what we can do is select all of these, Control C. We'll give it an extra space in there so that we know that there's something else going on. Or what we can even do is double backslash and go left hand, double backslash and right hand. And now all we have to do is go through and change each of these to say right, once we spell it correctly, of course. OK, so that's all renamed. I'm going to click Edit. So you'll notice that that hasn't worked. If I press Edit, I'll come up with this expression invalid after edit. And now uh, I'll click over here and notice that what I've actually done is not named this. So I just need to go ahead and name that now and name it right hand CTRL. And just before I lose sight of it, that one also needs to be changed to right hand. OK, and now when I click edit, it will all be done. And this curl control is now affecting the right hand as well, which is excellent. OK, so the other control that we need to set up is the spread. Now to do that, we only need to be affecting these first joints here. And what we're aiming to do is just to get the fingers to spread apart or close together. So what we're going to do is, in the left hand, we're going to say left ring dot rotate. And then we are in the x axis here. Rotate x equals left hand CTRL dot spread and semicolon. We're going to hit edit and invalid after edit. So there's something wrong with this line. So we've got left ring, but we haven't got the number after it. So we'll just go and add, it, add that in now and click Edit. And now we're fine. OK, great. And so we'll test that out. I'll dial that back to 0. And with our spread, we'll notice that we're not getting the right rotation that we want. So I'm going to go back and have a look at that and see what's happening. So you notice that our x is actually uh, we're actually wanting our y-axis here. So I'm going to go ahead and change this rotate x to rotate y and hit edit. And now when we come back here, our spread is doing what, what we want it to. Now we need to do the same for our other finger. And so we can go ahead, copy, paste, and we want our index, edit. Now, this copy and pasting worked fine for the other ones, but we're going to have an issue here, because as soon as we click on spread, start moving those, it's not really spreading. It's just swaying them side to side. And that's because this finger here needs to actually work uh, in the opposite direction to the other finger. So I'm just going to quickly look at that. Uh, so we want our fingers to be spreading when the numbers are going up. So that means that this finger here is right, and we want to affect our index finger here. So I'm going to go to our line here that refers to our index finger, and then type in times negative 1. And what that's going to do is just invert uh, the rotation. So I'm going to click Edit, and you'll notice that that's snapped into the right direction. And now our spread actually does spread our fingers, which is exactly what we want. Uh, and so I'm going to copy that and paste it underneath our hands and replace all the lefts with right. Go ahead and just Control C, copy, and paste, 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 and click Edit. And now you notice that our curl, and our spread function are both working on our other hand as well, which is great. I'm just going to zero those out, and zero that one out. And that is exactly the same as what we're going to be doing with our feet here. So I'm going to go ahead 
and pause the video and just repeat all of what we've done on each of the feet right here. Okay, great. We're back. I've gone through and renamed all of these. But now, if you remember earlier on, we already connected the rotates of these joints here to our controller. So, uh, what we have to do instead is just ignore each of these lines here. So, I've just put in a double backslash in front of the line, which is actually a great way of debugging your code if you get an error. Um, say, if you have a 7 in there by mistake and hit edit, you'll get an expression invalid after edit. And if you go through each line and just put in uh, and ignore this command and hit edit, you'll notice that the result comes out and then you can go, OK, so that must be where I have my error. And there is my error there. I'll take that out, edit, and we're all good to go again. So we have our spread. And we have our curl. And just checking our other foot, we have our spread. And we have the curl. Brilliant. OK, so that's, that's everything set up for this rig. And we're going to look at doing a, a basic walk cycle and using that as pretty much like a debugger to make sure that we've ironed out all the kinks in our rig. OK, so I'll see you back in the next lesson.